Okay, so now this part is amazing because you get to run on top of buildings and their glass. So let's try to see if I can do it again. It's not like I got very far. Okay, uh, boost! Oh, what? My, my boost didn't come out! What? I was pressing the button! You never see it It's showtime! What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to Sonic Generations for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. As last time, we just got done with Sky Sanctuary, did a couple challenges, got ourselves a Chaos Emerald, fought Metal Sonic, and then we beat the Death Egg Robot. So yeah, we did a, pretty much a lot in just that short little video. So next we'll move on to Radical or... So speedway highway what I can't let's, let's start it I don't know the name of it hopefully it tells me radical highway radical speedway no no speed it's not speed highway no what, what am I thinking of I don't know press X multiple times to launch a faster spin dash wait press it okay you want to jump here because there's a shortcut so yeah I haven't played this game in like about four to three years and I remember all of these shortcuts so vividly because I used to play this all the time and oh, oh I missed that shortcut I know that there's a red ring everywhere and like this is stage this is a returning stage from Sonic Adventure so yeah this stage was the only one that I regularly played back on Sonic Adventure because Sonic Adventure let me tell you probably I hate to say this but probably my worst Sonic game Strictly because it doesn't tell you where to go like the the ability for it to tell you where to go is cheeks like you can ask I know that you can ask certain people where to, where to go because the game tells you but I just it, it literally won't tell you the right way and when it does like I, I can't explain it the when it tells you where to go it's dumb like what wh how are you supposed to expect that you were supposed to go to this place at that time I, I can't I, I really explain it. let me just tell you that I, I hate it so much it's my worst Sonic game period I, 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 I have nightmares thinking about it especially that big the cat challenge if you want to complete the game all the way to like the supersonic ending bro I've never been more mad in my entire life before like I was playing like tells of Grace's F like that's the only time I've ever been like Super mad at a game like no game really makes me mad unless it's like has like cheeks gameplay Because like sometimes final bosses are like cheeks in any game like most likely final bosses Yeah, you're gonna get mad because they're hard, but I mean like oh, Just some are just unforgiving Okay, so we just completed this stage in flying colors And there we are Deuces. What we get? I'm pretty sure we know what we got, and I'm sure Sonic does too with that little dance. Perfect bonus. S rank two. Woo! Okay. Let's keep it moving. Blazing Meteor. We were only missing one more? Man, we should have went back and got that red ring. You don't really get too much of anything getting all the red rings, just music and artwork. Okay, Emerald Heal Zone, and more artwork. So now we move on to Modern Sonic's version of the stage. Like this song, okay, Speed Highway. What was I thinking of Radical Highway? I think that was, I, yeah, I'm thinking it's the one from 3DS that I'm thinking of, because I played both, and yeah, it's just ingrained in my memory. So yeah, Speed Highway. I, I, I know I wasn't, t uh, like, yeah, I know I wasn't messing up. All right, so Speed Highway, here we go. Okay, the light speed dash is featured in the next act. Would you like to see a tutorial? No. I know how to do this. Just press Y when you see like a line of rings and it gives you the option. Normally in every other Sunday game, you can light speed dash on any amount of rings, even like two. But this one and like the ones from Sonic the Hedgehog, you can only do it from like the ones that they tell you to do. So here's a secret shortcut. And a bigger shortcut is you see the helicopter up there that would just passed us by? You can actually grab onto that. If you use the blast off 
skill from like the skill shop and if you do it like perfectly time it you can actually okay here's another shortcut and boost <laughs> oh my god i messed up no i'm not gonna be shaming myself like that okay here we go again okay I swear I'm so rusty when it comes to this game, like why didn't I practice? Everything inside of me said, practice before you play this game. But I didn't do that. Okay, so now this part is amazing because you get to run on top of buildings and their glass. So let's try to see if I can do it again. It's not like I got very far. Okay, uh, boost! Oh, what? My, my boost didn't come out! What? I was pressing the button! Uh, okay, no, no, let's try it again. There we go. But I missed my S rank. Uh, <laughs> nah. Alright, so let's try to tag this one more time. So now you get to go over here, LB, jump. Because I just tried this about like 12 times and it didn't work. Okay. Let's keep this train going. Go through here. Boost. You jump, you wait, and then you boost! Yes! There we go! Yes! Oh! Ah! Oh. Finally, victory is great. So yeah, this is a returning stage from Sonic Adventure. I love to play this stage, because this stage, on its own, it was not a problem for me. Like, I, this stage wasn't a problem for me at all. Can I please get up here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is the same helicopter that met us over here. So you get to grab it in the beginning if you get the boost, well, the blast off skill. And, well, should I go to regular weight? Yeah, let's go to regular weight. You get a boost up here, and then you get the dopest of camera angle. You get the best camera angle ever. Look, look at this. Woo! You go down that big city, and then you get the police chasing after you. Like, sounds like some type of criminal. Yeah, so this part is amazing. Like, when you hear, like, if you have, like, searchlights or anything like that in any type of game, it's, like, a million times better to me. Because, like, searchlights, um, like, like, sirens in the back when you're, like, doing, like, big missions, like, those just make me feel, like, those make me feel all cozy inside. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. So there's another shortcut around here somewhere. Instead of, like, grabbing onto, like, this, yeah, right here. Cause it was a shortcut. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. Oh, I was gonna say, am I gonna speed run this? I should have gotten that red ring, but you know, who cares? Yes, yeah, so I like this part right here. Like, you can just actually like, just see like the spotlights and like the darkness. Like, look at this big city in like the dusk or like dawn, dawn or dusk. Well, you see before the sun comes up. I think it's dawn, I believe. Yeah, and it makes it, it. Oh my goodness! I love this stage so much. I just, I just can't speak when I'm playing Sonic. It's like I have a million things to say, and my mind just can't speak it. Okay, so now we cleared up the rest of Speed Highway. And we unlock Cream and Cheese, who you don't really see in too many games, actually. Yeah, she has a new voice actor, too. Hmm. Where are we? I told Mama I'd be right back when I left. Okay, we got all work 14, 15. Okay, we just completed. Yeah, spy Speed Highway restored. So now we move on to probably the best Sonic stage known to man, according to a certain amount of people that I just don't agree on. I just don't. Like, City Escape is good. I played it when I played it on the channel for, like, the first time in like a long time but you know let's wait can we get some skills with classic sonic i don't believe i just a spin dash is just bruh oh yeah the music oh okay 
So sure footed, land on your feet after getting damaged. Okay, you'll definitely get that. Last chance, get your extra life when you're out of lives. Don't need it. Uh, Aqua Shield. I guess we'll take that. You can't go wrong with the Aqua Shield. I guess I'll take it. Customize. Okay, I guess I'll just take that. Okay, so now we go back to City Escape. And, like, this spin dash is incredible still. Like, you go mad range. Well, mad places with it. No, I didn't mean to switch out. I was trying to... I'm so used to pressing... I'm so used to pressing Y and Triangle to pull up, like, menus. It's just... I'm a JRPG type of guy. And, like, when I play Sonic, it's just... Okay, equip this set. Because we don't need... We don't need A. That's for, that's for modern Sonic. If you collide with enemies or walls while riding against... Oh, you get the skateboard. Alright, so here we are. Riding City Escape. The stage that I just got done playing from Sonic Adventure 2. So in this stage, actually, it's actually pretty unique and it looks amazing. So look at that. You can actually... So there's like this little secret with this stage. So... There's a big ring somewhere hidden in this stage. And I can see it. Like at the bottom. But I can't really touch it or ever get to it. And I was looking at YouTube videos about it, and like nobody's apparently seen it. But <laughs> wow, the infamous stage of Legacy, like the stage that everybody would just like raise and praise to the sky. Like it's like the best Sonic stage ever from the best Sonic game ever, Sonic Adventure 2. Like I'm just waiting for like Sega to re like release a uh, Sonic Adventure 3 and see what people would think about it. So this part is amazing. Like you get to grind on the roof with your spin dash. I didn't know that was a secret area. See, it's kind of interesting also that you can also do like the 2D version of the truck scene back in Sonic Adventure 2. Like this would look a lot more <laughs> like, you know, it'd look a lot better if you could turn the camera to like the right a bit. Then you can see like what he's actually seeing back in Sonic Adventure 2. So after playing Sonic Adventure 2, I'm gonna say that City Cape, it was a pretty good stage. Like, you don't really get to, like, experience it too much. It's like a beginner stage. Okay, so yeah, you want to hurry up before that truck actually does, like, some stupid stunts and, like, drive straight at you, like, fly tr across the air. Uh, I was thinking about getting that red ring, but, you know, forget it. Okay, now you definitely want to hurry up. Oh, yeah, you get the skateboard here. I forgot about that. Okay, so I know that there are some rings here that you got to jump through. There we go. Is there like a jump panel? Yes, it is. Woo! Classic Sonic looks so crazy. Oh! Oh my goodness, this dude is stunning on me. Like, this game looks so incredible. Okay, so what you want to do here? You want to just... You want to run and keep jumping. Oh! And do the same thing, because the, that truck... Like, this... The truck driver is crazy. Okay, let's get these speed shoes. Not that they help in any way because Sonic is already like stupid fast. Never mind, he outraced the truck before he got there. See? <laughs> wow. We totaled that thing. What did we get? Well, of course we know what we got. A perfect bonus S rank. Oh! Look at that baby. Sonic is just so clean in here. All right, 50% of City Escape cleared. Oh, that's Rouge over there. Okay, we got Artwork 16, 17, Angel Island Zone, the music. So now we get to experience the full glory of the stage of how it's supposed to be played in 3D with the modern Sonic skin, gameplay, all of that. So let's do this. This stage looks incredible. Like, they did an amazing job. Like, what if they remastered or, like, remade Sonic Adventure 2, because I was looking at that mod to where they have like the 3D, well, Dreamcast Sonic mod, and it looks amazing. Like, he looks exactly like a reskin modern version of a a Dreamcast character. So, that, this is awesome how you get to boost and do the jumps at the same time. Like, it was insane to me when I was first playing this, because you can actually, like, just r drive through the city. Like, my first Sonic game was Sonic... Well, 
I was gonna say Sonic Unleashed, but like 3D. It's probably like yeah, Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. Because I believe my first Sonic game was probably Sonic Heroes. Like I, I don't I don't recall, but I remember playing it somewhere like a long time ago. Uh, crap! I should have gotten a jump panel. Can you jump in a rail? Yes, you can. You know, it's not as much destruction as it was in Adventure 2. Woohoo! So I'm really waiting to see like the new Sonic game that they're releasing. Because I believe that they said the next Sonic game, well, the next like Sonic game in canon, was going to be like 2022. And that's that's a pretty far ways to go. Because I know making games ain't easy, but whew, that's a long time. Okay, now we have that big drop sequence right here. We run down this wall. They get this full glory vision. Okay, you gotta jump through the middle. Yeah, I'm just waiting because I don't think Sonic will ever be the same. Especially because Jason Griffith, like, made, like, Sonic who he was. Like, molded him into, like, the Sonic we know. This voice actor of Sonic right now, he's good. But I prefer him for, like, the Boom series because he does an amazing job. With, like, the Boom TV show, because he fits amazingly, especially with the Sonic, because that Sonic and Sonic Boom, the TV show, he looks the part of, like, a lazy hedgehog. Oh, 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 this man is trying to take us out. See, this truck is crazy now. This one has sauce. Like, he upgraded. He's hit. This is truck 2.0. Oh, my goodness. So, I'm just thinking, like, Sonic probably will never be the same again, especially considering... The voice actor now because I, I do miss Jason Griffith a lot because he, he did an amazing job oh my goodness so yeah he did an amazing job but nonetheless I'll just take Sonic for what he is like no matter what Sonic could be Sonic because he did an amazing job Secret Rings Unleashed Black Knight and he has like that sad like he has that same like spunky attitude that you would normally associate Sonic with especially like in a Sonic X TV show because that was hype I loved it. I loved it. I don't even want to tell what we got. I know what we have. Demol De Demolition Derby. Woo! Yes, baby. Hey, baby! <laughs> I'm so tired of that from JoJo. Hey, baby! Okay, now we fully restored. City Escape to its full... Colorful glory. Then we awaken the seductress herself, Rouge the Bat. Like I'm gonna lie, Rouge looks she looks pretty good. Thanks, Big Blue. That's the first time I've ever been stolen. <laughs> that casual smile. Hmm. Who could have brought us here? And to what purpose? Okay, artwork. Okay, City Escape restored. Nice. So next, we'll be doing Seaside Hill from Sonic Heroes. And let's see, what else? What else is over here? Oh, a boss battle. So I'm thinking, what boss battle would this be? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just have to find out because I don't want to guess. So I'm guessing the next episode will probably be another stage, more side missions like the gates, and then the boss battle. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So like two stages that leads up to like a boss battle to like another stage to like gates. See, I'm gonna split it like that. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this short little video. Yeah, because like I said, I'm gonna make them pretty short to like squeeze as much stuff in as I possibly can in like a short amount of time. So yeah, next we'll be doing Seaside Hill, a boss battle, and some gates. So yeah. Make sure you guys leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Sonic Generations. So, uh, see ya. The real battle begins.